So in the Mattingly situation, that one report, not necessarily yours, was that they did offer him an extension. Do we know that to be true, John? I I think there was some discussion of an extension at some point, but I I just don't know that the enthusiasm was there on either of their parts. And as they say, uh, it was a mutual parting of the ways. Um, It just wasn't really going to happen. I think that's a small part of the story. The big part is that... um, you know, they weren't enthusiastic about giving him a long deal. And, uh, you know, I think they were uh, thinking that this team should have done better. Uh, that's their opinion. Uh, you know, obviously they have those two great pitchers, but there are some issues with the team. Not a perfect team, good team. It's a crapshoot. Uh, it came down to that one Murphy home run, and nobody can get Murphy out on any team. So it came down to one Murphy home run in game five, and, uh, that may have been the difference because uh, certainly if Manley uh, got to the Cubs and got past the Cubs and the Cubs did not play well this week, yeah, uh, you know they're not going to fire somebody who got to the World Series. Well, Joe Madden's a brilliant manager, and he couldn't win in Tampa. In Chicago, that series wasn't even competitive. I could I make the argument that we're overthinking the room on Mattingly and that that lineup, as you said, outside of Adrian Gonzalez, Puig didn't play, so they had very few dynamic sticks. The rotation wasn't terribly deep. The setup situation wasn't good. Are we heaping too much on Mattingly here? I'm with you 100%. Uh, and I, I think they would admit that uh, they didn't really provide him with a great third starting option. Um, and the bullpen had issues as, as the previous year. So um, you know, I, I think they would admit that, but I just think that going forward, they weren't sure that he was the guy they felt was going to be the guy. I think they liked him very much. I think Andrew and uh, Mattingly got along very well. Um, i just not sure there was a, a strong support. And when I say that, I'm, I mean they just weren't necessarily that enthusiastic about bringing him back. Yeah. So ultimately they decided not to do it. I'm with you 100% on that because I think Joe Madden is the best manager in the game. He didn't have a great four days. You know, I don't necessarily blame him, but, uh, you know, optional batting practice. And if you don't hit when you have optional batting practice, you don't hit in the game either. Yep. It doesn't look that good. So, you know, nobody's perfect. Nobody wins every game. And these series are all crapshoots. So to determine uh, jobs on them, I don't think is, necessarily great but you know, i just think it was more the big picture and that uh they didn't he wasn't their guy to begin with yep and um that was it 